Everything for us started with Jim McLaren. He was a 300 pound football player at Yale. And in 1985, he was in New York City going to acting classes on his motorcycle. And a New York City bus hit his motorcycle, threw him 90 feet in the air, dead on arrival. They chalked his body on the ground. He lived, lost his lower left leg in the accident, and reinvented himself. And Jimmy took the sport of triathlons to try and get his life back in order. Uh, and uh, 1992, he did his uh, first uh, Ironman. And Jimmy went 10 hours and 42 minutes at the Ironman World Championship, which is top 20% of everybody in the race. So it wasn't about some challenged athlete guy participating. It was a challenged athlete guy kicking butt and taking names and showing that if you gave him a piece of equipment, he could compete on a level playing field. So flash ahead eight years, Jimmy's racing in Mission Viejo and a van goes through a closed intersection, hits the back of his bike, propels him headfirst into a pole, and he becomes a quadriplegic. He really needed a significant amount of money to buy a uh, adaptive motor vehicle. He had a little bit of movement still in his hands. So myself, Jeffrey Esikow, and Rick Kozlowski, three friends here in San Diego, decided we're gonna put on a little triathlon at La Jolla Cove, and we're gonna raise $25,000 and buy Jimmy a van that has hand controls to give him that independence. That was it, that's what we wanted to do. We had 22 people who showed up for the event. Uh, we each kicked in a couple hundred bucks each for entry fees, we got some corporate sponsorship, did the event, everybody finished, and we ended up raising $49,000. Uh, mission accomplished, right? Thought our job was done, three of the amputee women who participated in the race came up to us afterwards and said, you know, Jimmy's the reason we got into endurance sports. But did you know, if you get injured, your health insurance will cover a walking around leg or an everyday wheelchair. But anything to do with sports is considered a luxury item. It's not covered by your insurance, which we had no idea. And so the mission uh, and our vision statement started uh, unfolding, which was um, we want to um, help people get back into the game of life through sport. So our goal became to start the Challenge Athletes Foundation and if anybody needed a piece of equipment, training or travel to stay in a game of life through sports, that we'd be there. We believe that through sports uh, you gain independence, you gain self-esteem. Um, and so uh, the foundation uh, back uh, 25 years ago started unfolding. In our first 25 years we've sent out 23,000 grants We've raised over $95 million. Just this year, we sent out 2,806 grants, totaling $4.3 million to athletes in 40 countries, 48 states for 95 different sports. The role we want to continue playing is to be the spokesperson, to be the voice, to be the eyes and the ears for our challenged athletes so that they know that they have a body and an organization uh, and a group of people that will constantly be fighting for them to make sure that we can continue providing them the needs to continue being independent.